Thank you very much for the opportunity to present at the first online IST Africa conference. Greetings from Zimbabwe. I hope you are all healthy and safe. Let me begin. We developed this paper on electricity and solar power when we reviewed what we learned while implementing solar systems in health institutes in Zimbabwe. In the body of knowledge that we can access from Zimbabwe, we found hardly any report on pr practical experiences in solar that resonated with our experience. Therefore, we wrote a paper based on our setting with the research objectives and how we approach this extended case study. We wrote what we learned. Of course, I will try to keep it short as everything has been documented in our paper. I hope you will be reading it for yourself. The availability of electricity is known to be a problem all over Africa. Of course, when there is no electricity, there can be no digital health. Digital health machinery needs power. Without it, it does not work. In our daily work, we try to support health systems to perform better. Improvements often involve machines like computers and intelligent services. Therefore, the need for electricity pops up everywhere and also in the most remote rural health facilities. When there is no electricity from the national grid or when the electricity supply from the national grid has been interrupted, often solar energy is the only way to make electricity available. For this study, we wanted to know and describe what aspects are playing up when planning, implementing, and operating solar systems in challenging environments. We tried to make our research useful by bringing out the issues we learned but did not find described in the literature we have access to. We are a group of academics and practitioners with a background in both the natural sciences and the humanities. In this research, we used reflect, reflexive science. Such a science was extendedly described by Bura Woy in 2009. In previous work, one of the authors of the paper used it for developing an African research method. This method is called living research and it was also used in this particular study. We also scrutinized 13 solar systems that we, we were directly involved in. Subsequently, we triangulated our observations with experts that have done over 1,000 solar installations in Zimbabwe. Our context in Zimbabwe might be a bit like uh, other contexts, like, um, for example, in Zambia or other countries. The main electricity grid was designed and built during colonial times, providing power to areas of privilege. Of course, electricity is being extended, but currently it does not yet reach all health facilities. Also, there is a severe shortage of electricity in the country. Often the supply is interrupted sometimes for days or even weeks. I hope our findings will be helpful to you when you live and work in rural Africa. Then you must or you might recognize them. 
If you are living in affluent areas, our findings might contain some news. We found that reputable suppliers are based in urban centers. Almost all are in the capital, therefore getting stuff from hundreds of kilometers away is very tough. At the health institutes, there is very little expertise in solar systems. Those systems are pretty complex though. But our most important finding is battery storage is failing. Often batteries die within one year. There are no funds for their replacement and battery trouble is training many relationships. The issue of the battery failure, both technically and financially, is really disruptive and makes the installation and use of solar systems difficult to manage and often unsustainable. However, those in charge of project decisions in this administration and finance might not be aware. Therefore, we argue for the need to center the design, implementation, and operations of the system around local capacity, skills, and agency. This hardly happens as designs come from the outside. Decisions are taken from behind a desk somewhere else. Therefore, we end up with solar systems that are not viable for the long run. As I conclude, I will say again, I hope you will read our paper, as all is carefully explained there. I think our paper gives a nice overview of the aspects involved in implementing and operating solar systems in African places, especially in rural areas. We point out the difficulties of the battery storage that seem to cripple most solar systems. Often systems do fail already after one year of operation. Another issue is that the supply from solar turns out to be never enough. Of course, we need electricity to be able to improve health systems, especially when using digital health interventions. Therefore, we conclude that it is important that the systems align with the African context in its cultural ways of doing its engineering and for the financial fit. I thank you.